genesis to actually being a jazz player came from my desire to change notes in other people's music. So Mozart, I would be studying and playing a piece and I'd say, I don't really think this is the exact right voicing on the, for this chord. And when I first heard jazz, I, real, I realized that, that it was almost like expected of the player to find those notes that were hits. out there and there's just a piano it's like my body knows exactly what to do it's just like my left hand knows how to play and if I tell it what to play I'm stopping it it it's the <laughs> not only not only am I stopping it but I'm stopping it from playing something better than I can think of This is like being oversaturated with input. And it actually comes through your entire body. And people ask me, you know, why I make the noises I make when I play. Anybody in their right mind would try to find an outlet somewhere. So, you know, like if, if something's really happening, the passion just takes over. Audiences think I don't like them, but the truth is I need them more than almost any other performer that comes onto the stage in front of them. I just need them to do a few simple, you know, easy things. Try to concentrate. The principle in this trio has been the same from 1983 to 30 years later. It's been exactly the same. It's the side men that have the freedom. The leader is always the leader. I wanted to be my own side man too. I thought, okay, I have these two wonderful players. They're gonna know how to, they're gonna know what to do. What if we just start playing? And the only way to do that would be either totally free playing or music we already know. There is an amazing amount of music that was never played. What, you, what I'm seeking is that. This, this music that's in the air that is ready to be played at all times, you know, that's why I show up at a concert.